Hey guys, welcome to vtcheckacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about terminating and non-terminating decimals. So let me explain you this concept with the help of an example over here. So let us consider a fraction for say 39 by 8. Now let us convert this fraction into its decimal form. So let us divide 39 by 8. Now here 8 4 times is 32. Now 39 minus 32 we get the remainder as 7. Now since 7 is not divisible by 8, we place a decimal point over here and we write 0 over here. Now 8 8 times is 64. 70 minus 64, we get the remainder as 6. Now writing 0 again over here, we get 8. 7 times is 56. 60 minus 56, we get the remainder as 4. Now writing 0 over here again, we get 8 5 times is 40. 40 minus 40, we get the remainder as 0. Hence, the decimal form of 39 by 8 is 4.875. Now, let us consider one more fraction and try to write it down in decimal form. So, let us divide 5 by 3. Now, here 3 1 times is 3. 5 minus 3 we get the remainder as 2 since 2 is not divisible by 3 we place a decimal point over here and write down 0 over here now 3 6 times is 18 20 minus 18 we get the remainder as 2 now since 2 is not divisible by 3 we place one more 0 over here now 3 6 times is 18 now 20 minus 18 we get the remainder again as 2 now writing 0 again we get 3 6 times is 18 now here if you observe this division is going on repeating that is the quotient over here we get as 1.666 which goes on repeating hence this kind of decimal numbers are called as non terminating decimals and the above kind are called as the terminating decimals that is the non terminating decimals are the repeating decimals which goes on repeating are also called as the recurring decimals and the terminating decimals are also called as non recurring decimals. So the terminating decimals which are non-repeating decimals are also called as non-recurring decimals and the non-terminating decimals which are repeating decimals are also called as recurring decimals. Now let us consider few more examples and try to find out if these are terminating or non-terminating decimals. So let us consider the first example. Now let us convert this fractional form into its decimal form. So let us divide 1 by 3. Now since 1 is not divisible by 3, we place a point over here and write down 0 over here. Now 3 3 times is 9, 10 minus 9, we get the remainder as 1. Now since 1 is not divisible by 3, we write down 0 over here. Now again 3 3 times is 9 and we get the remainder as 1 again. So now here if you observe, this goes on repeating, hence the decimal form of 1 by 3 is 0 0.333 which goes on repeating which can also be written as 0 0.3 and a bar over 3 since it is a repeating decimal we place a bar over the part which is repeating now considering the second example let's divide 29 by 5 now 5 5 times is 25 29 minus 25 we get the remainder as 4 since 4 is not divisible by 5 we place a point over here and 0 over here now 5 8 times is 40 40 minus 40, we get the remainder as 0. Hence, the decimal form of 29 by 5 is 5.8, which is a finite decimal. Hence, it is a terminating decimal. Now, coming over to the third example, let's divide 7 by 12. Now, since 7 is not divisible by 12, we place a point over here and write down 0 over here. Now, 12 5 times is 60. 70 minus 60 we get the remainder as 10. Since 10 is not divisible by 12, we write a 0 over here. Now, 12 8 times is 96. 100 minus 96, we get the remainder as 4. Now, since 4 is again not divisible by 12, we write down 0 over here. And 12 3 times is 36. Now, 40 minus 36, we get the remainder as 4. Now, writing down 0 again here, we get 12 3 times is 36. Now again the remainder is 4 here. 
now this process is again repeating over here hence we get the decimal form as 0 0.58333 which goes on repeating hence we can write this down as 0 0.583 and a bar over 3 since 3 is repeating hence this is a non terminating decimal now coming over to the last example let's divide 42 by 5 now 5 8 times is 40 42 minus 40 we get the remainder as 2 since 2 is not divisible by 5 we place a point over here and write down 0 over here now 5 4 times is 20 now 20 minus 20 we get the remainder as 0 hence 8.4 is a decimal form of 42 by 5 and since 8.4 is a finite decimal which is a non-repeating decimal we call this as a terminating decimal which is nothing but a non-recurring decimal so this was basic introduction on terminating and non-terminating decimals hope you like the presentation do like and subscribe to vtchacademy.com thanks for watching have a nice day